Hello everybody, bonjour tout le monde, c'est Emma en direct de Koh Samui. Pour nous, il y a un moment où les yeux méditent, c'est déjà helpful. Today it should be in English because I'm going to interview a monk for a special meditation retreat that belongs to uh, the Koh Samui International Meditation Center, which is right now in Goput. And I would like to explain you the, the meaning of meditation here, thanks to these monks. Let's go! I thank you for receiving me here in this Koh Samui Medita International Meditation Center. Yes. Uh, I would like to know more about the aim of uh, the, the retreat you are organizing here in Koh Samui. Can you tell us something? Please? Okay, yes. Uh, today is the first day of the three days meditation program in Samui International Meditation Center especially the first, uh, almost the first day of the year, uh, 2022. Two. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. uh, then can be a good, a good opportunity sure. for the island, for the people here. Long time, uh, then COVID coming. Sure. And uh, though coming to the stage, uh, to the moment that can be difficult, then we see that it can be good. Uh, we share Buddha wisdom uh, to the people. <coughs> especially, we know that in some way there are a lot of foreigners yeah, from many countries, yeah. a lot of people staying here, like you, and some maybe just uh, visit. Then why not? Why not we can uh, develop this place because this place uh, is uh, we see is a nice place. Sure. Right? And then and then the, the abbot of, of the center asked me, yeah. I'm the teaching monk from <coughs> another center, Chiang Mai, called Pa Pe. Okay, meditation retreat. And then we organize meditation for international people regularly. And also we have some international monks there. So then this program is just the first one, it's the beginning. Then I'm here alone and to teach and to share. And then we, we, we consider it as the first step yeah, to, to see how we can arrange the place how we can offer the, the, the Dharma teaching and also the, the way we, we, we introduce meditation for the people. Uh, if it uh, works well, the, the next, next time we can develop more and we, we see that uh, if it's possible, this place uh, can be <coughs> useful for people uh, because we see this place uh, located in the middle of the city near the airport, yeah. near the big community. And then it can be easy for the simple, uh, easy for people to, to access to come. And then, uh, then there could be two step. The first step could be a lot of people they don't know yet uh, how they meditate, and what is meditation. Some uh, some basic step that we prefer, that we, we 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 would like to to, to, to show to, to all of them. Then uh, that's how we arrange uh, three days. Then then we see in three days they understand what is meditation, how they meditate, and some special reason that they encourage people to have to, like, to practice. And then later, if people start to feel better, yeah, they understand, they become uh, motivated, and we say maybe why not later, if, if, when people can come, can come and practice by themselves. If, if you look well, yeah, we have space, yeah, different corner, with the water, with the tree, and then, uh, and then, then can be two modes. <laughs> the mode that people come in and under the, the direction, the, the guidance, the monk and people and our staff support. And other mode, uh, people just come and, and be free uh, in the nature, in the area, and they practice, can practice by themselves. And we as monk, we can be as a consultant. In the beginning, we, we, we are advisor, and we show them the technique, the way. And later, people practice, and they have any question, they would like to know something more. And we help to support. Okay, twelve people for yes. this first time. Yes. Uh, what the aim of those people? Are they Buddhists or not? Oh. Do, do we need to be Buddhists no. to come no. to this retreat? No, no, no. Uh, because uh, if it become an international retreat, and that means we make it universal. And because we know uh, it's not uh, Buddhist, we are not majority of the world. 
but uh, Buddha wisdom is for all, is universal. Yeah, I understand. Yeah, the explanation, the, the guidance, the practice uh, is for all. And then, uh, and the same is good because you see that uh, something we can share. Because we see that uh, if we follow Buddha teaching, we can make life better. And then if something they can apply to their life, welcome. And it's, it's not the way to ask people to be Buddhist. So, sure. yeah. it's important to say, I think so. Do you think COVID has changed a lot the, the mind of people? The it's a factor. It's a factor. It's an element. Or it's not. It can be kind of disruption. But if you see, it's not only COVID. Only COVID. Eh? Now the world keeps changing. It's moving. And it's quite fast. And then uh, if you look, people are suffering. It's not only from COVID. Now, we are living in the world that... Uh, we are talking about the, 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 the advance, the progress of the technology. Yeah. And, and now technology, it, we see it, it helps us, it serves human beings. But uh, now we have to be careful yeah. because uh, the more and more advance of the technology, it can also be uh, some, some problem too. Yeah. Because with the technology, anyone who access, who can access, who can who can uh, master it, uh, they will be the one who can have the advantage and allow human beings to advantage the others. And the people who has no chance to be with that technology, uh, that can be also, they can be the victim. Sure. Right? And then we are living in the world that uh, the, the, the gap between people can be high, uh, between uh, the rich one, the well-educated one, the, the favorite one, uh, and, and the others. And then the challenge, uh, I, I don't think we can, we can make people the same success, uh, the same, uh, the same like, accessibility for all rich or richness or wealth. And anyway, with the Buddha wisdom, uh, offer us another, another approach. That means if we, if we let, allow people to know how to cope with their own mind, how can make, that we make our mind to be clean, to be pure, to be strong, and then uh, it helps people to be able to adapt oneself to the world from today to uh, to future. How can meditation help people to be to feel better? Yes. So first, we can say that uh, seeing people lost today, because with technology, you can access are limited. Yeah. That means in the in the past, with now this kind of technology, we have time. Yeah. After you finish your job, your work, and you have time for your family, your friend, yeah. and yourself. Today, yeah, uh, with accessibility, then people become addicted yeah, to be to follow some kind of information, and then then the pro first first situation is hard to hard to find people who know how to let their mind to be free. Always something in their mind. And how people can be happy if uh, their mind never be quiet, uh, never be peaceful, if something always moving there. Meditation yeah. is, is uh, as a, uh, a way, yeah. it's, uh, it's uh, a technique, yeah. it's an exercise yeah. to let our mind, to let go, to put the world somewhere and be just with yourself, let your mind be free. How long does it take to be free, to be able to meditate and to enjoy the feeling it's of meditation? It's kind of like you do exercise, uh, you do jogging, you do any sport. Sure. It's up to you, it's up to you and bit by bit uh, you start to learn and once you know that it's beneficial, that means uh, you feel something good coming. Same, uh, every time you, you, you meditate, you feel your mind become healthier. Right. And they just, later you just maintain it. Every day you, you just spare some minutes eh, and you, eh, you spend eh, to let your mind be free, be clean, be pure. And that, uh, that's uh, another, another way eh, we can make a life to be, to be healthier. Eh, healthier to be physically and mentally. Sure. So that means it can be three days as a retreat? Uh, so, uh, retreat means uh, it's a program, especially for the people who don't know what they can do. Yeah, because people, once they don't know, it's not easy. Sure. Because by the image, 
People say meditation is boring. Meditation can be suffering. Yeah, I can sit, close the eyes, five minutes already suffering. And how people sit, do nothing, 15 minutes, half an hour, an hour. But it's coming with a technique. And then in two, three days, uh, we, we, we guide the people, we share the people the, 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 the technique and to, to, to tune, to adjust their mind. And once we let them to, teach, uh, to touch, to feel uh, how, uh, how, them, how they feel, when the, once their mind become free, become, become calm, become, become uh, peaceful, right? And then, and it's depend, it's depend. Uh, someone can, can follow easily, and uh, they, they might become, can be peaceful quickly, but some take time. But anyway, we, it's we, uh, our support uh, to, to, to help, to help. And then, it's, it, people can come coming back again, people can come and practice by themselves more, right? And then, for us, uh, it's any any moment people close their eyes, meditate is already helpful. The first part of the medita meditation for us uh, is the part that we let mind to be in free, to be free. Right. Then, uh, then mind can be free if we we know how to how to arrange, how to offer comfort to one own mind. Comfort, yeah. comfort coming once your, your body become fully relaxed, and then about the mind same, yeah. how how we can tune, how we adjust mind, let go everything, being with uh, the observation that uh, you feel peaceful, right? and then uh, for the technique uh, we we introduce the 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 the, 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 ap the approach uh, we call the middle way, and we observe to the the middle area of the body, of your abdomen, we call it the center of the body. Okay. We observe uh, that area, imagine an image, uh, image as, for example, a crystal ball, the sun, the moon, a star, right? or any, any, any image, and then we can also observe uh, mantra, it's a voice uh, that we keep, let it keep repeating from the center, we observe it. But anyway, uh, each one, uh, our participant uh, start to, to, to follow, to, to practice. Thank you. Do you also use music or songs? So, for here, we, we, don't, uh, we don't use the music or even song, but uh, if we use it maybe for some kind of ceremony, of, uh, of, that's in general, but the practice, we prefer to be simple, to be simple. If you talk about sim music or song, that can relate to the mantra. Uh, mantra is short word. Let it uh, repetitive uh, and observe it. If not, we say the mantra is the simplest music. Not try to make it uh, beautiful, some special, but simple. Keep repeating within the center of the body and then let your mind be calm with it. Regarding the program of this retreat, mm -hmm. uh, what are the different steps? Because there are three days. Are there yes. steps? Yes. So today is the first day. Then uh, one session we offer introduction, explain what does it mean meditation, what we do when we close the eyes, meditate. Also, I explain about the concept of minimalism. It is also important that we reduce everything, your mental effort, your everything, everything, even your thoughts. Yeah, minimum, minimize, minimize everything. Just then, we just be simple, be neutral, become peaceful. Right, and then uh, afternoon continue a bit. In the evening, and also this uh, this program, I, I arrange the meditation at a different uh, location. In the morning, we sit in the meditation hall. Uh, afternoon, we sit in, in the lawn under the, the tree. And then evening, we try with the bonfire. And this, this evening, we talk about the, the story of Buddha. Okay. And I, I, showed, I, I showed them how, uh, what happened when the Princess Hatta decides to search for the truth of life and then later he can discover uh, this uh, wisdom and he became Buddha. And then uh, more detail uh, how a person, a human being, what happened with him till later he called, he called him Buddha. And that coming this evening. Tomorrow, tomorrow we plan in the early morning, we will invite the participant to go to the feature beach 
Hmm? We meditate there with the, with the sea and I think we, we, we hope we can see the sunrise there. On the beach. Uh, Which one are you going to? Fisher, Fisher Beach. Uh, Bob Put. On Bob Put? Fisherman? Yeah. Okay. Yes, mm -hmm. Fisherman. Fisherman. Yeah. Fisherman. Okay. And, and then we come back late morning. Late morning, we come, uh, can be with the question and answer. Uh, yeah, something as uh, extra. Uh, anyone would like to know something? Yeah. And then afternoon, afternoon session that we uh, will be here again. Here again. That uh, afternoon session may be about the, 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 the concept of the good deeds. Good deeds. And then evening, uh, something special. Uh, we were invited to go to people's house. That uh, we, we, we see the sunset uh, and set, uh, uh, take some refreshment there, and then we come back and meditate on the top of the roof, right? and it will be for tomorrow. Right? And then the last day, the third day, in the mo early morning, we invite our participants to join the, the daily activity. That means uh, they, they will join, we, we, we participate in the morning chanting of the monk that starts at 5 20 and finish at 5.40 and spend some more good time meditate. After finish, uh, they, are, they leave the meditation hall and then we arrange uh, some food or ask them to, to do the offering to the monk that's an experience uh, to, to see how would, would, would this uh, tradition you know, we offer food to the monk. And later we invite them, anyone who can join, uh, to follow monks uh, when they do arms go to the city, walks with the bow, yeah. and they can, can be assistant and observe how it happened in the, in the Buddhist community, we come back. And the last session will be late morning of the third day, that will be the, the summarize, summarize, and then surely uh, teaching monks, we encourage them to keep practicing, right? And then, yeah, and then we finish after lunch. And later, we will okay, organize a meeting to, <coughs> to see uh, the, because it's the first time, then uh, something we need to fix, something we need to develop more. Right? And we see yeah, in, in, in the near, near future, if we run it uh, from some more times, and we can see the program that can run ready naturally and how people can feel like a good and get the, the, the benefit of their participation. Okay. How often do you expect to organize this kind of retreat? Uh, now we plan for three days for this month eh, and then February. Yeah. And then we, we, we talk. Eh. Yeah. At least I think once a month, maybe more, because now I'm planning. I'm talking with, with the staff and then I go back to the center in Chiang Mai. And if there will be some international monk who can be available, yeah, maybe they and they we can rotate and come if they can stay here yeah, longer time that would be better instead of waiting for just three days if they stay here yeah, maybe another any day people coming and yeah, they, they can they can share the meditation technique thank you what about the price is there a price for this retreat oh, <laughs> we say we, i prefer to say as kind of donation yeah because we talk about the price the the term is it looks like a business, sure. and we like to show mm, uh, it's the spiritual activities. Right? Then you look, uh, with Buddha wisdom, share wisdom to us. Okay? It's, it's, we are out of the, 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 the capitalist world. But anyway, just let people know that uh, the, the, the function of the place running, sure. then if they can help us too. Yeah, because uh, you see the place running yeah, by, by the people by a lot of uh, support, a lot of uh, things that happen, then if can, they can be a part uh, to, to support, then it can help keep uh, the, the, the place to keep running and share, share this uh, benefit to the people. And then uh, now we, for these three days, uh, we talk and we, we say that uh, maybe, maybe the, we try uh, the first time that three days, if people can support uh, by donate uh, 1,200 baht per, per person, and someone cannot come every day, that means if we count each day, it can be 600 baht. But anyway, I, I, for myself, I, 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 I think I prefer to call it a donation. Sure. Right? And yeah, coming from the heart. Sure. Anyway, I prefer that uh, we need to keep the, the Buddha wisdom to be a kind of offering. That means uh, the monk offer 
and all the 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 the, the, the organization offer Buddha wisdom to the people, and why not people offer some support back to to the to the center? Sure. If you are uh, someone who stay in Samui or plan to come to Samui, uh, if uh, yeah, you can be interested uh, to learn uh, to know more about the uh, Buddha wisdom, to know more about the uh, Buddhism, but uh, with the practice, uh, not just uh, the uh, theory, but uh, uh, rather uh, to the, the, the way we apply into our life. Uh, also, you would like to know about the meditation. With a, with a clear explanation, uh, with and then uh, you can ask, ask, and monks can explain you uh, by the best way we can. And then uh, here, Samui International Meditation Center can be a good place for you. Then uh, next month, uh, you'll be, I think, 10 to 12 of February. And then later, you can follow the, the website. I think you can search uh, Samui International Meditation Center, and you see the website of the center. And even you have any question, if you have any suggestion, then you can leave with the email of the center, and you all will come because this place was created to share the Buddha wisdom that we see. It can be a way that we can we can bring peace to the people from our master. That we're talking about the world peace, the peace to the world. To start with, individual inner peace. And for us, we we try our best to share people how we, we can access to peacefulness in within and then that's that's we show people that happiness coming from the still mind from the peaceful mind can be uh, can be over any any happiness that come into our life that come with any kind of material that come with any kind of people just be to know how to be really with yourself how to be with the peacefulness within yourself and here our place can be uh, good, uh, uh, we, it can be a good opportunity for anyone who would like to learn, who would like to explore and know and learn more about yourself by listening, by observe yourself inside. I, th I really thank you very much for, <laughs> for this time you gave me and for, you gave to all my followers. I hope everybody will have, be uh, happy to to hear about this and to Maybe to share the video. Uh, let's see. And, uh, uh, I, I hope, I hope perhaps. to like uh, the, the challenge. It looks like a promotion. Sure, it's a way to <laughs> yeah. promote. And, sure. But maybe try our best. Yeah. Because in Papua, exactly. again and again, I see people come say thank you. And someone uh, says three days, five days, I think, oh, that changed my life. Yeah. That, that allowed them to see better. They, 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 they have time to see more of themselves. Right. Maybe just in some little thing. But if we do it properly, it can be really, really, can we say, really, really important for the people. Okay. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you very much for your time. During this retreat, there is also accommodation and share of food which is provided. First day here at the meditation center in Koh Samui. Um, it was very interesting for us. Uh, we learned a lot of Buddha and yeah, how to sit when we meditate. Um, a lot of how we can think. And yeah, it was interesting and, and definitely do that. It's a big experience. Yes. Yeah, it's pretty cool. You learn a lot of yourself. Yes. Good three days <laughs> in your life. Okay, thank you. Kafunka. So this time uh, was in English. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you will appreciate the, this kind of content. Uh, the next retreat will be on February from 10 to 12. So if you want to join, just 
follow the, the link I will put in the de description of this video. Thank you for watching and bye bye.